Hello there everyone, welcome to another video that shows you how you can create a complete, fully responsible multi-page educational website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript from scratch step by step. In the previous videos, we have just created the home page the blog page, the about us page, and also the course page of this responsible multi-page educational website. So, if you didn't see those videos, I put the link inside this video description. So, go ahead and watch those videos first. Having said that, now in this video, we are going to create the contact us page of this responsible multi-page educational website. Oh yeah, before that, if you are new here, consider subscribing and press the notification bell icon. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. Sit on your comfort zone, take a cup of coffee, and then enjoy the show. So over here, when I click this contact as navigation menu, it redirects you to the MPT page right here. Cannot get contact.html document right here. So what we are going to do is now over here inside the same folder, we are going to create contact.html document right here. Now what we are going to do is copy all the code which is found inside index.html document right here and then come over here and paste right here. All right. After that, what we are going to do is we are going to remove unnecessary sections right here. I'll remove it. And now, First, collapse it. Collapse again. And collapse here. All right. Now, from here, this section is not necessary. This section also it is not necessary. Remove this. Remove this to the section. And remove this course section. And finally, we are going to remove this instructor section. After that, when I save and refresh the web page, here we have, right? So here we have the contact page. Now, we are going to create this contact as header banner right here. So we have social media links right here, and we have a nice background image right here. So, so to create this first, over here, remove it. It's not necessary, and then the H3 value right here is index.html. So this home navigation menu, it redirects you to the home page of the website. And over here, let me say contact.html. For q and section, right? After that, we have hash contact. And for the login and become a teacher, login.html. And over here again, login. Dot HTML. Now to create the first section of this contact page, as always, let me add a comment right here. And then we are going to create a section element having a class name, let me say, hero banner. Inside this section element, we are going to create a div element having a class name, hero banner underscore content. You can assign any name 
as you want. Inside this, we have an extra implement, and we have a text which is nested inside the paragraph element right here. So, copy this, this text, and then paste right here. After that, to start it on new line, we use br tag. So now when I save and refresh, here we have the text right here. So now what we are going to do is we are going to add a background image, right? So, so over here, remove it. And then let me add a comment first. Let me add a comment right here. So using this class selector help banner, let me add a background image about about us dot jpg and then the width for the image 100 percent and background position for the time being let me say center. Then background repeat, no repeat. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have. All right, over here, let me add the height. Attribute right here, height 100 viewport height. So here we have the background image. Oh yeah. Now, what we are going to do is height 450 pixel mean height right after that save again and refresh here we have the image needs to cover the full width right so for this we use this property background size cover so here we have right it's cool after that instead of using background over here we have background position, center, but it's better to say zero and minus hundred pixel. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have a nice background image. Oh yeah. After that, now let me align the position of the position of the text which is found inside this hero, inside the div element having a class name hero banner underscore content. So for this position absolute, then from the top 40% and then from the right, let me say from, from the left, let me say 10%. So from here, if the position absolute, the position of the parent element should be related. In this case, the parent element is a development of a class name Hero Banner. That's why here we have. All right. After that, let me style this text which is found inside the H3 element and the paragraph element. So copy this and then paste right here. Now let me target this H3 element. And then now let me increase the font size to five frame, which is five times the global font size 66, 60 frame, right? So here we have. Now again, let me style Z paragraph. So copy this and paste right here. Now let me target this paragraph element. And then over here, let me add padding top to 20 pixel. We are going to add. We, we need to add some padding from the top of this paragraph and then we are going to increase the font size of this paragraph. So here we have. Nice. After that, color for this paragraph, we use dark color. Here we have. Now let me change the color for this contact. So to do this over here, contact, we use this var main color right here. All right. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have. Now we are going to add 
social media links over this hero banner so to do this come over here inside footer section right here we have social media links right here so copy this element have the class name social media and then come over here and paste right here so using this class selector social media let me see it the position for these social media links right here so position copy this and then press right here as you can see here still the parent element is hero banner so when i save and refresh here we have all right now to make it more visible we are going to add background color we use this dark color right here all right so now we are going to add some margin right instead of padding we are going to say we are going to use margin so to do this remove this first and then what we are going to do is we are going to target the anchor element right here so copy this and paste right here and target now target this anchor element right here and then margin to pixel from top and bottom and then pixel from left and right so when i save and refresh here we have right that's cool now we have just created the first section of this contact page congratulations all right now we are going to create the contact section of the web page so as always let me add a comment over here contact section and now we are going to create a section element right here have me class name let me say contact section and an id value let me say contact this id value should have the same name just like that of the href value right oh yeah inside this contact section we are going to create a development having a class name contact box this contact this development used us to surround to wrap the left column and the right column we have two columns we have the left column and we have the right column so here we have the left column so to create the left column we are going to create a development having the class name let me say contact info inside this we have an h1 element right here having a class name let me say section heading so let me add contact me and then surround this me inside the span tag right here to so style it in different way right after that down here we have another div element having a class name let me say contact info underscore box all right so first we need four development having the same class name contact info box so here we have inside this we have point our some icons and we have paragraphs inside this we have the icon that we are going to find from fontalsam.com and we have contact information which is surrounded inside this paragraph tag right here all right again paragraphs and then we have the icon right here and paragraph right here so i'm not going to waste your time right here i am going to add it offline right all right welcome back here we are
All right, so here we have the icon which is found from phone1000.com and here we have the contact information, phone number, here we have website, here we have email address and here we have the location right here. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have, we have the left column right here. Oh yeah. Now we are going to create the right column. So again, inside this development having class name contact box, we are going to create a development having class name contact form. Inside this, we are going to nest a form element right here. After that, inside this form element, we are going to create a development have a class name, let me say, form input underscore box. So over here, we have four development having the same class name form. Over here, we have four developments having the same class name form input underscore box. Inside this development, we are going to create the input field right here. The first input field right here is the name field. So input then type text class, let me say pointer input and then placeholder enter your name here. After that, the second input form is the email entry field, right? So for the email entry field, we have type, the value for the type attribute should be email, right? And then having the same class name, pointer input. After that, placeholder, we have enter your email, right? For the third input field is, we have a subject field right here, placeholder, subject and type as always text right here and having the same class name and this field should be required again this field which is the name in the field should be required right so we use this required after that we are going to create the text area field so to do this we use this text area element right here and name message we have columns 30 and row 30. And then we need to have a placeholder right here. Let me say, enter your message not more than 250 characters. All right. After that, over here, we are going to create a submit button as always. Let me use this reusable class name, template bit in right here. And then inside this, we have an anchor element right here. And over here, send message right here. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have, right? So, since we have just styled this before, right? So, over here, we are going to add a class name right here. The same class name. Pointer input for the text area field. Oh. I double it, no matter how. Okay, here we have. Okay, here we have the same class name right here. Oh yeah, when I save and refresh, here we have, as you can see here, this text area, email, text area field, and also email and subject field, as well as the username entry field is already styled before, right? On the newsletter section, that's why we got this style. All right, after that, using this class selector, let me add some property value pair. As always, let me add a comment over here.
So on that, then this play flex, we use flex, right? Then justify content, flex start, align items, also flex start. And then we need gap between this left column and right column. We need a space between left and right column. So when I save and refresh, here we have a little bit ugly, right? No matter, we will style it at the moment. After that, using this class selector, let me add some width. Let me specify the width for this left column and the width for the right column. So to do this, we are going to use this class selector right here, contact box and contact info right here. So the flex, we have one, one, and for this, we have 33. For the right column, we have the width, flex, flex width right here, flex, and then flex one, one, and 43, which is 40 times the global font size. So when I save and refresh, here we have. All right, again, it is also ugly, right? No matter, I will show you how to style this in a better way. We have just styled this inside the newsletter section, right? That's why we get this style from here. That's why the style is applied over here. That's why that style is applied over here. Since we use the same class name, right? Oh, yeah. After that, using this class selector right here, we are going to style the h1 element, the text which is found inside this h1 element right here for this text, text line justify. And now let me increase the font size 2.5 rim. Again, this rim means 2.5 times the global font size that we have set inside the HTML and body element selector, which is 60 pixels. After that, now let me style this, the text which is found inside the span element right here in different way. Now we are going to change the color right here. So we are going to use orange red. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have nice. After that, now let me style this, the, the font icons, the font are some icons, and the paragraph. So to do this, we have this right here, and we have just like this. After that, now let me style the right column. So to start the right column, we have this class name right here, form input underscore box. So for this, with hundred percent, we use descendant selector right here. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have cool, beautiful. After that, now here we have pointer input. For the pointer input, we have with 8% padding, we have 0.75 per rim and margin, one rim from top and bottom, and zero from left and right. After that, save again and refresh. Here we have. Now we are going to style this font awesome icons in different way. Now let's change the color for this font awesome icon. So to do this, we have this class selector right here. Before that, let me add some padding, some space between these 
contact information. So to do this, we have this class name, contact info box. So for this, let me increase first, let me increase the font size to point to rim. Wow, it's very large, right? So it's better to decrease to 1.2 rim. Yep, good. After that, let me add some padding over here. So, padding bottom, 1.5 rim. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have. Now, having saved, the, having saved that, let me change the color for this point out some icons. We're going to set the color to orange red. So, here we have. Beautiful. All right, everyone, congratulations. We have just completed the contact us page of this multi page responsible educational website right here. Yup, again, congratulations. In the coming episode, we are going to create the login page of this multi page responsible educational website. With that being said, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye for now. Everyone, welcome to another video. All right, everyone, in this episode, all right, everyone, we have reached the final episode for this. All right, everyone, we have just reached the final page of this responsible multi page educational website, which is the login page. So, in this video, we are going to create the login page of this. All right, everyone, the login page of this responsible multi page educational website. So, when I click this login page, it, it says cannot get since we haven't created this login.html page yet, right? We haven't yet created this login.html login page right here. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create login dot html document right here inside the same folder right here after that copy after that we are going to copy the code which is found inside index dot html document right here copy this and then come over here and paste right here. Now we are going to remove unnecessary sections right here. I remove it. It's not necessary, right? Again, remove it. To remove it, it's better to first, it's better to remove to remove the section in effective way, it's better to collapse this section element right here. First, it's better to collapse the section element right here. After that, remove this, the section over here. It's not necessary, right? And then remove this. This footer section is also not necessary and leave this instructor section as well as the header element right here all right over here remove it this id value is not necessary and then for the home navigation menu we set the href value index.html right here and for becoming share we have login.html and for the course page we set for the course navigation menu we set course.html after that when I save and refresh 
Here we have the looping page. After that, you see, we have a top down menu right here, and we have a navigation menu just like this one, and we have an instructor section. After that, down here, we are going to create the contact banner, which is the hero banner. So to create this, as always, let me create a comment over here. Let me add a comment over here. So over here, we are going to create a section element having class name, let me say, login. login page you can assign any name that you interested in right it doesn't matter whatever you want but it's better to use the class name should be descriptive right it's better but it doesn't matter whatever you want and then inside this section element, we are going to create a div element having class name login container. Inside this div element, we have the form. We have a div element having class name form container. And we are going to set an ID value login. After that, we have an h3 yep it's better to say either h3 or h1 it's up to you and add some text right here 